All right, let's see how I did. Woohoo! Mmm, fresh fries, guys. Time to continue studying. Wow, I ate that so fast, and I'm only on question three. <laughs> Hey guys, so fast forward, it is now Saturday morning. I am uh, packing my laptop and my study material to go get some boba tea with Adora. And we're gonna study there and drink boba tea, which has become my new obsession. <laughs> this is the situation. Adora is team neuro, and I'm team psych. Today we're team brain. Boba tea, it is so good. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see if it sounds good. <laughs> This place is a little bit noisy. Oh, darn it. Win some and lose. Hey guys, I was in bed till 6 p.m. and I'm just now trying to get my life together. I'm gonna start with my hair because that's something I actually want to do. Woo! Oh yes, I'm available next week. Sorry, Dr. Chase. He's so dreamy. God! everyone so now it is 8 34 at night this is my last week of psychiatry and i don't know i'm just really excited because i've just been absolutely loving my psychiatry rotation i'm actually really excited to go to clinic tomorrow and really just help people i feel like psychiatry is such a good way to just be right there and help people you know you're you're right there you can make the difference right then and there every day several times a day i don't know i just really like it so right now i'm gonna do you world uh let me show you how i've been doing so i don't know if it's because uh psychiatry is really interesting or if this is just everybody's experience but if you look at my previous tests i have been killing it on my 10 question test for psychiatry uh, well, I mean, oh, I kind of, you know, missed the ball a couple times, but hey, after that. So obviously the material is sticking very well, which is great because my shelf exam is next Friday. I went through this entire book, Psychiatry Clerkship First Aid, and to learn my psychiatry farm, I reviewed Sketchy Farm for the Psych Drugs. After my shelf exam this Friday, I am free. I am on winter break and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ooh, you know what sounds like a great study snack right now? <clears throat> yes. Yes! <laughs> Sorry. This is gonna be one of those nights. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you bliss. Oh yeah, it's great. Now I have plenty of energy and motivation to keep it going. I'm gonna start with 10 questions and see how we do. I don't like to do things timed because I'm gonna save the suffering for the test day. Continuing the stress eating fun. 15 year old boy, which is important because different types of people do different types of drugs. Found unconscious on the bedroom floor. He's able to be aroused. He has a rash around his mouth and he has decreased sensation in his legs. Vital signs are normal. His liver function tests are slightly elevated. Which drug is he abusing? Options are alcohol, benzos, cocaine, hallucinogens, heroin, and inhalants. A rash around the mouth? Inhalants? Cause maybe he's like, putting something like around his mouth. I didn't know that caused decreased sensation. That can make, make you lose consciousness. He's 15 and a boy. Eh, I'm gonna put inhalants. <laughs> I know they can affect your liver. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through a question and kind of show you my thought process about how I get the right answer. So basically the question is about a 30 year old woman who has bipolar disorder and a past history of attempted suicide which of the following medications would be most appropriate for long-term treatment of this patient? So, reprogram would be incorrect because one thing that is vital to know in psychiatry is you don't ever give someone who has bipolar disorder an antidepressant. So, knowing that, I can automatically get rid of fluoxetine, which is another antidepressant, and venlafaxine as well. Clozapine and haloperidol are both antipsychotics. You definitely wouldn't want to start with clozapine because clozapine has a lot of adverse side effects and it's kind of used as like a last resort. So it's kind of between haloperidol and lithium. And the reason I'm going to go ahead and go with lithium is because lithium is known to decrease suicide. And now we're going to see if I have any idea of what I'm talking about. Yes! I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm kinda killing it. <laughs> Alrighty, packing my lunch. I have some sandwiches, some carrots, 
grapes and Gatorade to get me through my day. I pack a lot of food because honestly, as long as I have food, I can do anything. Food is the limiting factor. I try to make it healthy. Uh, it's also a great way to save money. If that is something that matters to you, which is <laughs> definitely something that matters to me. Oh, was that my toast? Ooh, yes, my toast is ready. Nothing like big globs of chocolate to get the late night studying going. I'm just gonna finish a few more UWorld questions, and then I have a project to work on. <laughs> I'm gonna be here all day! All right guys, so it's past midnight. I'm going to go get some sleep before I have work all day tomorrow. I just finished my project, so good night everyone. Oh my goodness. I always regret sleeping late, but I make the same mistake every night. <sighs> All right guys, so we're headed to our last Monday of psychiatry and last Monday of our first half of our third year. Super excited because I hate Mondays. Hey guys, so I just did my reading for my quiz, finish off my studying for my shelf exam, and then I have my review session this afternoon. It is super cold in Texas. Hey guys, so I'm in uh, the alt C all by myself. So I'm going to finish my last 20 year old questions and then we have a review session at three in this room. So I'm just gonna stay and wait for the review session. All right guys, so this is my last year world quiz. This is actually pretty hard, so let's see how I did. Ooh, me. Hey guys, so I just got done filming another YouTube video for you guys. Since I'm done with UWorld and I'm done with my first aid book and I went to my review session today, I am running out of things to do. So I'm going to be going over the practice NBME exam that I took halfway through the rotation in which I got a 23, which is like a, an 84. This would be a whole lot easier if I didn't have all of this makeup on. So let me go do that really quick. And we're back into the cozy pajama. But your refrigerator. We're back to the pajamas, guys. Um, and to the non-glam face. We're, <laughs> we're gonna get some grapes from the fridge, if that's okay with the fridge. And we're going to get through this NBME test as fast as we can. And then we're gonna go to sleep and have our clinic tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. I'm really happy today. I. I haven't been this happy in so long. People with bulimia have increased amylase activity. Why does that make sense? This is when I break out the first aid book and look it up. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> you mean I have to know that this one word exists in this entire book? Man, these tests really get to me sometimes. <laughs> About to call it a night and get ready for my clinic day tomorrow. Good night everyone, I'll see you guys in the morning. Is, so I'm in my lunch break right now and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit of what what I do in the office So this is what's going on right now. I am in the middle of lunch and so there's tons of food everywhere There's a potluck going on. I bring a patient in through the store and they kind of sit somewhere um, Either on one of these seats. I use this to study on my downtime So I kind of have this on me at all times to review things and then um these are the questions that they ask. We do a lot of follow-up questions. Basically, how old are they? Why are they here? And what meds are they on? These, this is the mnemonic for, for major depressive disorder, Siggy Caps, and there's a mnemonic for mania, which is called Dig Fast. And I keep them here so that I can review the review systems with them. Uh, but anyway, it's basically what you always wanna ask is how they're doing, what meds are they taking, are they taking them? Has their mood? Suicidal, homicidal ideation? Do they have guns at home? Do they have auditory visual hallucinations? If they have anxiety, how is that? How's their sleep? How's their activity? Are they working? How are they living? Do they need refills? And then I go to the attending and tell them everything that I found out from the patient and we go from there. Every time I'm with a patient, I always try to be a little bit therapeutic, as in very friendly, smiley, hopeful for them. Uh, because, you know, even though they're here for medication management, they're still here for mental health. So I definitely try to aid in that by being as nice and sweet and open as possible. 
Hey guys, so it is Wednesday night. I think two of the most important topics to know for your psychiatry rotation are the mood disorders and the psychotic disorders because they are kind of easy to mix up, especially things like bipolar mania with psychotic features versus schizophrenia. So I'm going to be reviewing those Make sure I know them super, super well. So yes, I've gone through this whole book already, but the third chapter is over psychotic disorders, including psychosis, delirium, schizophrenia, delusions. And the fourth chapter, mood disorders, goes over things like MDD, bipolar disorder. Morning guys, so I'm running a little late. I've got some toast going on that I'm about to spread with Nutella and then I'm heading out, so let's go. Alrighty guys, so it is this beautiful blue sky day and I am done with psychiatry. Holy snap! I just realized that today was my last psychiatry clinic. Oh, this is so saddening. <sighs> well, maybe this will be my career. I'll be doing this for the rest of my life. And this is only just the beginning. Maybe I'll never see another psychiatry clinic again. Unless I guess I need it, which, well. Alright guys, I think that I am done reviewing. It's as good as it's gonna get for me and I'm ready to take my test tomorrow. I'm going to take a shower, relax, unwind, go to sleep, try to get some sleep for tomorrow's test, take it, and move on with my life. I packed two bottles of coffee to keep me engaged. The test is 110 questions. It's at 8 in the morning. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be hard, but uh, there's a lot, a lot to look forward to after the test, and that will keep me going, get me through it. I'm so excited for winter break, guys. You cannot believe. Okay, good night, everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm back from my test. It is over. Good night, everybody. Sometimes I seriously don't know how I do this every day. <laughs> but the good news is, because I'm still a student, I still get a winter break. Hi, everybody. So I'm officially leaving back to my mom's place for the holidays. I have the cats locked up. I'm going to go enjoy my holiday break. I hope everyone else does. I hope everyone has an awesome holiday and winter break away from school. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, everybody.